This is a story all about Eva, and yes, she's an egg timer. Because timing eggs only takes minutes, Eva had a lot of time on her hands. It gave her time to think, so she thought a lot about chocolate. Bars of chocolate, boxes of chocolate, chocolate biscuits, chocolate cake, anything, so long as it was chocolate. But there had to be more to life than chocolate. Just then, Freddy scratched his nose, and this gave Eva an idea. Oh, I, I, I wonder how many times he does that in a minute. In, in fact, I wonder who does what, how often, and and when. So she started timing everyone, and everyone soon got very fed up. Oh, stop! Said Ivy, putting her hands over her ears. But we're all tired of being timed and told about it. Please, please go back to timing eggs. In fact, why don't you go and find out how long it takes to lay an egg? Well, Eva thought this was a brilliant idea. So, without wasting a minute, she dashed off and arrived at the hen house, where two lovely soft hens were chattering about what hens always chatter about: eggs. They laughed when they saw Eva. Oh my word and glory be! Now there's a funny thing to see in a hen house. Can I time how long it takes you to lay an egg? Asked Eva. Oh yes, but we we can't be hurried. They clucked. You can't hurry an egg. Oh no, dearie me, no. So Eva set her timer and settled down. But then suddenly something terrible happened. A black shiny nose poked into the hen house. And under that nose were big, sharp teeth. It was Ferdinand the fox. Good afternoon, ladies," he said slyly. "I've come for my tea." And he slavered and licked his lips. <gasps> oh, cluck! Oh, cluck! It's a fox! Flapped Henrietta. And in a flash of foxy red fur, Ferdinand pounced into the hen house. But much to his surprise, there was Eva. Oh, oh no, you don't," she said angrily, just as her alarm went off. Bring! Oh, what, what, what the f f flippin' heck was that? Exclaimed Ferdinand, and he tripped over his tail and landed at the feet of Cornelius, a large and magnificent cockerel, who gave him a well-placed peck. Yow! Squealed Ferdinand as he high-tailed it out of the hen house. Oh, and whom may I ask? Are you? Cornelius inquired. Looking down at Eva, poor Eva was terrified. Never before had she seen such a huge, magnificent cockerel. Now you leave her be," said Henrietta. "Eva here just saved us from being eaten by that wicked old fox." "Ah, I'm just an, an egg timer," Eva stuttered. "Huh, a fox scarer, more like," boomed Cornelius, lowering his magnificent head. How would you like to come here more often? Hmm. Oh, oh, I, 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 I'd like that very much," whispered Eva. Back in the kitchen, Eva told Ivy all about her adventure. Well, I never," she said, just as Cornelia strutted in, and it was Ivy's turn to tremble. Ivy had seen many cockerels in her time, but never one as big and as magnificent. As Cornelius, this is to say thank you," he said gently, and presented Eva with a large brown egg. It was a most beautiful large brown egg. It was the most beautiful egg she'd ever seen, because as Eva was soon to find out, it was an egg made entirely of chocolate.